Hey yo, this is Guido with another episode of Watt Corner Tactics Talk. Today we've got Overlord. The Overlord map, which has the D-Day landing kind of idea down there on the beach, is no place to go. Typically when you've got a setup like I've got right here with a lot of mediums and I'm in a platoon with Rocket, another clan member, you're going to head over to the east and try to work those little hills and push through. This ends up being a pretty good game for me with an east side medium push. What I'm going to do here actually though is I'm going to run this at times four speed for most of it. I want you to look at the flow of the battle. If you move back, take a wider aperture look at the game, there is a very specific flow for a lot of these maps. And when you speed up the game, you can actually see how map control happens, how the flow happens. And if you start to win the game, you're going to start to see how map control and vision control starts to happen. So we're going to do this thing at times four. And the other thing I want you to remember is I have ordered a pizza. Just remember that. I ordered a pizza. Rock and I are going to push out. We're going to knock down things because that's fun. And we're going to get right up here into these little hills. They got a lot of guys in the middle. So we're going to start looking for them. I'm going to bounce twice and miss. You can see that we've all flowed over here. There's not many of us, but they're kind of in the middle. So Rock and I are going to start working. We've got these autoloaders. Start hammering people. And we're starting to flow into this side. And here we go together. You can see both of us moving. Take him out. Another talk, target of opportunity up there. I'm clipping. Rocket hits the 34. Once I'm reloaded, we're going to come in here, make him go. Boom, just like that. Now you can see our team has flowed through there. They've got a lot of guys down on the beach. Don't go on the beach. Beach is useless. We're going to flow over here now, coming around behind them, looking for targets. Holy cow, there they are. Hit him a couple times, then I'm going to get right here. And it was about this point that the pizza delivery guy showed up. And I had to go pick up the pizza at the door. Yep, I'm at the door. Trying to pick up my pizza. Tank's just sitting there. Hey, pizza guy. How much is it? Now, let me write you a check. Oh, crap, check. Oh, wait, I'm back. All right, team did all right without me. And we'll just sit here and clean this up. The pizza's sitting on the table ready for eating. Get you down as well. Oh, got to reload. Two more guys. Let's chase some damage. Get him out and him out. <laughs> okay, so 4,822 damage. This ended up being my mastery on the Skoda, the Tier 9 T50, which had eluded me for quite a long time. The good news for me is that the experience required for the Ace Mastery has come down considerably since it first came out. A lot of worse players are now approaching it and playing it so that's helped me out a lot i actually had several 1300s before this that weren't ace masteries they were just class one in fact i remember one 12 or 1300 a long time ago when it first came out was a class two <laughs> so anyway i'll take it five kills 4800 that was my ace mastery and that was just to show you kind of how the game flowed and a little humorous bit right there where i had to get my pizza and park my tank behind a rock we will see you later